Hey, I'm Travis from Student Loan Planner. Today we're going to talk about how to retrieve your NSLDS data file about student loan repayments. This is really critical because student loan servicers are getting fired or changing and it's going to be really chaotic over the next year to two years because you've got Fed Loan Servicing that's changing over at the end of 2021 and then you probably will have some temporary contracts that all the other servicers will operate off of and they'll probably either change or go out of the picture sometime in 2023 or 2024. So what is the NSLDS data file? NSLDS stands for National Student Loan Database Center or System. And that's a major important document because what that's going to do is it's going to give you all the history of your uh, basically your student loan repayments, your, your status towards forgiveness, and it's going to show all the debt that you have on the federal direct loan system, as well as the Perkins loan system and the FFEL loan programs. So this is a really important place because it's the central data warehouse for everyone's information that you would need to use to figure out if you're going to get forgiveness or not and figure out what kind of payments you might have made on your loans. So the NSLDS data system is sort of the nervous center, the nervous brain system, I guess you could say, of Department of Education, because that is where everything is stored, and that's almost always correct. There are some cases where certain servicers, like Federal and Servicing, have had problems splitting up accrued interest once it gets above a certain level, and then sometimes they will accidentally report the wrong thing to the NSLDS data system, and make it appear that you have half of the debt that you actually have. That's the only time, though, that I've seen the NSLDS system be incorrect is when the servicer uploads something that's incorrect, which doesn't happen very often, thank goodness. So why might the NSLDS system benefit you? Well, you might want to get this data saved off to your computer just so you can have a record of what kind of repayment plan that you're utilizing, when you started and stopped different repayment periods, and just to know what your loans look like so that if they do change servicers, you at least have some sort of backup system that proves that you borrowed a certain amount uh, and you've been on repayment for a certain amount of time. So that's why it's important. We use it in all of our student loan plans and student loan consultations to make plans for people because we want you to have a clear idea of what you know student loan sort of history you've had, which can tell you if you're on the right plan or not and if you're pursuing the right strategy or not. So how do you get the NSLDS document? It's called the NSLDS download. So to do this, there's a few steps to follow. So first, go to studentaid.gov, studentaid.gov, and then go ahead and log in. You should see your name when logged in in the top right-hand corner. If you hover over your name, you should see something that says My Aid, right? So click on that, and you should see something that says View Details. So then click on that. And what you should see is a link to download your data file. It should be a blue link somewhere in the top middle to middle right of the page. So go ahead and click that link, and then you will download your NSLDS data file. Now, that data file is going to show all of your loans only on the Department of Education system. So for example, if you have loans through the Department of Health and Human Services, such as the Health Professions Student Loans, or the loans for disadvantaged students, those kind of loans will not show up on the NSLDS system. So you would have to consolidate those into a federal direct consolidation loan to make them show up so that you could maybe use forgiveness for those loans if that happens to apply to you. But once you've gotten that data file, what you can then do is you can figure out exactly what kind of loans you have and what the status of them are. Now the problem is, is this data file is mile long sometimes and it's in a very hard to read TXT file. We utilize a proprietary tool when we're doing consultations to organize all that data so that it has a summary of every, all the loans, when your payment started, what kind of forgiveness credit you might have towards 10 PSLF forgiveness or 20 year pay as you earn forgiveness type of plans. And we can see if you're in a grace period or deferment period as well. So this is a very useful tool. I highly suggest you go ahead and saving off your NSLDS data file somewhere on your computer. but be calm in the sense that it's saved to the cloud, it's saved in the Department of Education warehouse. So if there are any discrepancies or problems down the line as your loans transfer over to different servicers, you'll be okay, you'll be having a backup that you'll be able to use. So that's why the NSLDS system matters, that's why it's important, and you can use it to figure out what your student loan strategy should be. 
And if you see your TXT file and you're like, oh my gosh, I don't want to look at this, we can help analyze it for you. Just reach out to help at studentloanplanner.com or go to studentloanplanner.com help. I'm Travis. Thanks for watching.